You know, they tell me that if you hang around in a spot long enough, you'll eventually be on TV. Oh, is that the fact? I understand they're taping a TV show even as we speak. I know. It's starring the singer midgets. <sighs> <laughs> they're down here a little lower. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, just... <laughs> we can't find anything for them to it. stand on. They're wonderful. Oh, did you see that? That's yes. amazing. Well, let's... Well, let's... Perhaps we shouldn't We're talk about that. We're doing a cooking that. show today. I'm Laban Johnson. I'm and Larry Bly. And welcome to Cooking Cheap. It's nice to have you here. And this is our friend, the witch. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can read it today. Made a belly landing. Right. What are we going to do? Well, it says here, dear boys and girls. Doris and Carol. Oh, Doris and Carol. Okay. Have you got any easy pie recipes? I intend to throw one in the mayor's ugly puss because he insulted my fudge-covered cauliflower. Let me read that again. Because he insulted my fudge-covered cauliflower at the Board of Zoning Appeals meeting this week. Well, you know that happens all oh, the time. I know. They insulted, uh, I, I had a broccoli thing and mm -hmm. they made fun of it. I had taken the dish to help pave the way for the beauty shop, I want to put where the dining room is now. I need easy recipes because one, I don't have any room to cook, two, I can't cook anyway, and three, I don't want to spend a lot of time on our creepy mare. Isn't that the <laughs> Thank you for your pies. Patty Ledbetter of Bower City, Florida. <laughs> Well, all of you yes. who have mayors out there certainly know what we're talking about. Yes, There's no you two do. ways about <laughs> our city. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, oh, well, hey, yeah, that reminds me. I'm going to do Grandma Colette's egg pie. Oh, I remember her. Grandma Colette, she was a good woman. Mm -hmm. She and drove a school bus, as I recall. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm just laughing. I forgot my glasses. Let Sent me... in by Rachel Grog of Kingsport, Tennessee. How about, we haven't heard from oh, anybody yeah. in Kingsport for a while. Hi. Nice to see you. And I'm doing Mitzi's lemon cheese pie that was sent in by Mitzi Foraker of Trooper, Pennsylvania, and Doris is doing the same pie. And what Doris did it the way Mitzi's recipe goes, mm -hmm. and I'm doing it in a way to get the fat out. <laughs> get the fat out. Yeah, get the fat out. <laughs> okay. So uh, that's, the, that's the difference. So what have you got to do that... Well, my, because this is Grandma Colette's egg pie, this means you have to do everything, including make up the uh, dough from scratch. And you know how much fun that is. It's been a while since oh, I've done it. But you know, ahead. I come from a good dough-making family. Mm -hmm. Tootsie used to make her own pies and she would never have thought of using one of those pre-ordained things like you and I use. You know, mm -hmm. the ones where you fold them out or even yeah. worse still, the ones that are frozen in their infancy. And of course, there, there were some people in his family that made a lot of dough, but they're in federal <laughs> penitentiary <laughs> right now. We're not telling you how, or, just uh, right now. Copying the, the goods so we, much. We start... My hair, look at my hair. It's just, I don't well, want to I touch noticed it with that it's, it's been bothering I you. I need a haircut real bad, but you know my barber... Mr. Steve. ...is just... Is he drunk? Un, well, not all the time, but he's not available when I need him. <laughs> But I hope to get it done tomorrow. Last time I saw him, it didn't make any sense at all. And I says, he's just normal. Mm -hmm. A cup of, it says, all-purpose flour. And right off the bat, I noticed I have self-rising. Ah! <laughs> what can you do every time? You know what? There are too many products in supermarkets. Well, today. there are. I, I get something. I get it home. I think I got something. And it's got, you know, onions in it or something I didn't even want. So we're going to make this up a little bit here. I think that would look real pretty in Miss mm -hmm. Doris's hair, don't you? Yes. If she comes a little later on, I'm going to snip that to her hair. Uh, a cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. Well, you can leave that out now. Well, yeah, you know, you're right. That might be a good idea. But, but that is an attractive little can of baking powder. It's, uh, well, it is. It's an old-timey label, uh -huh. isn't it? So anyway. And, but thank you for reminding me of that. And four tablespoons of margarine. What is that? Is That's that eight. So a half of a stick uh -huh. is what that means. And it has softened to the point where I can't cut it. There we go. We're going to work that in. That's going to have to be cut in, as they say, uh -huh. in the business. That's the part I want to see. A teaspoon of salt. Do you have any salt over there? Nope. Well, I'm, excuse me. I'll just follow you know, around I, over I here. I don't use it. it. It's not good for me, so I don't have it around. 
That's okay. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I think I used just a little at your house one time, but maybe not. And uh, some ice cold milk, about a quarter of a cup, and that has been in my car uh, all morning. No, I actually went home <laughs> prior to the show today because, uh, well, because uh, I wasn't home last night, so I went home and got all this stuff today. I was out on the road doing stuff. Now, what's this call for? A what? Milk. Uh, how much? Is that a fourth? No. That's a fourth. Right, we're going to add that in a couple of minutes. First, yeah. I'm just going to start cutting in this uh, little margarine, or butter, actually. And that's about all I'm going to do for right now. Well, we'll you know, get... my sainted mother, the lovely Louise Elba Bond Johnson. Uh -huh. Who had to... too many names, by the way. She did. <laughs> um, what? You know, we never found out what her middle name was until my brother and I were teenagers back in the 50s when Elvis got big, and we just thought it was so wild that our No, I think moms, Elvis got big in the latter 70s. He gained about 200 well, pounds. Well, he did. That's, go that's ahead. the truth. So anyway, but go she ahead. She used two knives to cut that in. Is, so that, like scissors. is that so? But well, I can't. All right. Now, with this pie, this is a fairly interesting pie, and you start out with an eight-ounce block of fat-free... <laughs> Green cheese. <laughs> fairly <fat> interesting <laughs> pie. Uh, <laughs> I like that description, Lynn. Well, it is. It's a fairly interesting pie. And, of course, <laughs> an engineer put this thing away the last time it was used. Let me see if I can plug it in. Once you cut this in, don't be afraid to get your fingers in it. And you have to mix it until it's... Goofy? Yeah, this whipped up real good. Well, it's working. And this is the fat-free version of the cream cheese, all right? Now I've got to add some milk to it, and I need to get the milk out the <clears throat> ice box. Well, while he's doing something exciting like walking to the ice box, I want you to see this. Once you cut it in a little bit, and Tootsie always taught me that what you do is you just get in there with your fingers then, and you get this to the crumbly stage. See that? Just work that in real nice to the crust. She really was a good dough maker. She made real good dough. I make <laughs> dough the other way, the old-fashioned way. You buy it at the supermarket. <laughs> yeah, I also make dough the other way. I work. So anyway, that's that. Now we're going to put in the quarter of a cup of ice cold milk. About a quarter of a cup, I, whoops. I would work that in a little slowly if I were you, or you will do what they Tootsie used to call <laughs> drown the miller, where you, you put too much stuff in mm -hmm. and it's not good. So just work that in a little bit. I wouldn't do it all real fast. Go ahead, John. All right, well, I've got a half a cup of milk and I'm gonna pour it all into the cream cheese mixture to start out with and mix it in real good. And you'll get a fine bubbly. A bubbly what? It'll be smooth and bubbly when you mix your cream cheese. And Does this have the same characteristics as uh, the, the fatty kind? Uh, yeah, except this works just fine because you don't have to uh, cook it. The other kind does better when you have to use it in something that's going to be cooked. All right, now as you can see, that is the consistency of whipped cream. Uh-huh, it certainly right. is. Now Anyways, we're going to add to it a box of instant lemon pudding mix. And I want to tell you right now that, the, that there is a fat-free um, sugar-free version of this. I had a terrible time, and the one that I did at home is is uh, fat-free, sugar-free. This one sir. isn't. I hope so. Oh, they're whispering Excuse again me, over Dorothy, there. Excuse me, Doris. Doris and I are having a little private conversation. You know, she's a very good dough maker, also. And I just wanted to make sure that this was just really good. Isn't that pretty? Uh-huh, it is. Makes a real nice one. Patty cake, patty cake. Next right. thing I'm going to do, hang on just a second, is just throw a little bit of stuff out on it, and uh, we'll roll it out here in a couple of minutes. All right? All right. Go ahead. Now, I'm just spreading this Joy. contents of this package of the lemon pudding, instant lemon pudding mix. 
and it should be fat free, sugar free, over the top of this. And then I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit and then add another cup and a half of milk. But Larry, you go on and do what you need to do over there. Well, I have this lovely piece of dough socked down here on the, on the thing. And what I'm gonna do right now, and I've, I've just shook out a little bit of flour. And what I'm gonna do now, I think it's probably just right, is we're gonna roll it out a little. I hope it'll roll. Well, it is. Roll another one. There we go. Oh, it's a little dry. Roll on Jordan. It's a little dry. I'm gonna put just a little. Is it supposed to be this? Probably should have been just a little. Perhaps just a little bit. You gotta fold it. <laughs> Why do I have to fold it? What? Excuse me, I'm gonna have to go back to Doris to find out what she's talking about. She says I gotta get it real thin because I have to fold it. Roll very thin, fold over edges several times, and oh, for heaven's sake. I'm gonna do this the way I wanna do it. So, I'm getting it real thin, all right. In fact, this whole show is getting a little thin if oh. you want to know <laughs> I'm ready to go home. Oh. thin ice. Well, it's looking real pretty. I think I made a nice dough. Mm -hmm, you did. The problem is, I think it's it going in some bit of different... Of <laughs> well, it does. <laughs> now, let me show you this. A little travelogue, ladies and gentlemen. One time many summers ago, Laban and I traveled uh, down into this portion of Italy. And uh, it was down in here that there was a... F well, never mind. Anyway, now, am I supposed to put a little flour on that? Is that what they say? Fold it. Fold it what? She's, go ahead, Laban. She's giving me instructions, oh, okay. and I don't... I'm, I'm putting a half a teaspoon of lemon rind grated into the mixture. <laughs> so... <laughs> Isn't it awful? This is a disaster. Well, not entirely, but I'm having just a little problem here with my dough. <clears throat> you know, I have a feeling up in heaven and somewhere Tootsie's laughing She's herself She's saying, to death. boy, oh boy, what did he ever learn from me? I hope he's not blaming me for this, she's saying. <sighs> I'm not folding it over several times because I'm lucky if I got enough to put it in there. As you can see now, that's pretty lovely. <laughs> I think it's too flaky. There's something has gone just slightly. You know, perhaps if I put a little fork thing around the edge, no one will notice how, how rough it is. Well, that's not working. No, I'm not gonna dip it in anything. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make a fine little handmade scallop to go around the edge of. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. That's pretty old Lovely. timey looking. Pay no attention to the parts that are missing. This is terribly embarrassing. And I, you've seen me, now Laban, come to my rescue. You've seen what? me make beautiful dough here on occasion. Mm -hmm. I have. You know I can. You've even complimented me on my, it's real nice. my dough making culinary skills. <laughs> but the proof is in the eating. This is gonna be nice and... Uh, That's right. Well, Lord, here's all kinds of stuff in here. Well, you know, the they're world. having a big fundraiser or oh, something, well, and it seems to be... somebody's bought an entire gallon of dill strips. There is a lot... Dill strips? Uh-huh. Now, I don't know. Anybody want to voluntarily eat those? But anyway. Oh. You know, it's just real exciting to work here in this place. I am um, rebuilding this from scratch, practically. I'm and I can assure you... another half cup of milk. <sighs> <laughs> now, don't you think that's pretty? It's lovely. I think I've managed you to did save very it. very well. I have managed to save it. Take a look at it. Now, I assume that you poke some holes in it before you, uh, before you bake it, and maybe a couple on the sides, too. You know, some people have weights they put in uh -huh. these things, but I've never believed in that. I don't think it's natural. Now, what you do is put that in the oven, and you bake it at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. And that's going to be your uh, shell. And when it comes out of the oven, oh, that is so hot. Uh, it looks like a baked shell. Uh -huh. There it is. And in a couple of minutes, we're gonna make the stuff that goes in the shell. That's already baked at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Huh? 
Yeah, go on ahead and put it in there. Thank you. My lovely assistant, my trusty assistant, the very lovely Doris, is now putting it in the oven. So anyway, thank you very much. 350 degrees for 10 minutes. And in a couple of minutes, I'll show you how we make the custard part that goes into it. Mr. Right. Custard, you want right. to go yes. ahead there? Now we've got our, our interior of the pie finished, our filling. I'll get it right in a second. And you go to the pre-made graham cracker crust department and get, this is a low-fat graham cracker crust. Have you ever made a graham cracker crust uh -huh. from uh, scratch? It's a pain in the back. It really is. It's not worth it. It's another one of those things you ought to buy, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And you put your filling into the pie crust. And if, you're, if you've done it right and got the right measurement of milk and all this other stuff, it should come out just perfectly. Mm -hmm. Look looks, at that. That is gorgeous. Good. Now I'm going to take my lemon that I have here. Take your lemon to town. <laughs> and I'm going to do a little some garnishes because I noticed Doris didn't go to the trouble to do any today and that, that'll... Oh, mm -hmm. she brought some whipped cream. Oh. That's the secret, see? She's going to squirt Doris, that stuff Doris. on there. You know her, she always is prepared. She's like a Girl Scout. Mm -hmm. I'm going to break four eggs in here while he's doing that. All four right. of them, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, and four. There we go, all four into there. And this is going to be the custard part here in a couple of minutes. Go ahead, Mr. Johnson. All right, now, let me tell you, you can do this with any flavor pudding mix. Um, I tried it with uh, bananas and the banana cream mix, and it turned out just wonderfully well. Really tasty. So. Uh, just remember, you can do that if uh, you just want to have a little something different. Okay, to this you add, we have the four eggs in there, we beat them up a little bit. To this you add two-thirds cup of sugar. And I've lost it. Huh? Half a teaspoon of salt. Thank heavens we got the salt. A little bit of that. Boom, that goes in there. Uh, uh, t half teaspoon of nutmeg. I don't know why I did this recipe just the other day. I've already forgotten mostly what I know. Abuse of your brain. I think you're probably right. And a teaspoon of vanilla goes in there. A little teaspoon of vanilla. There we go. And two and two thirds cup of milk. And we'll mix all of that up. Go ahead, Mr. Johnson. All right, now, you take your liner from your graham cracker crust and put it back down on here upside down. And, of course, that makes it, protects your pie, makes it easy to carry wherever you're going to take it. And I'm sealing it back up, the foil liner, back up, and then we're going to put it in the freezer and let it freeze, preferably overnight. And we'll put it over here, and that's it. Well, while I'm mixing this up, why don't we trot the uh, sisters in here for all a couple right. of minutes. I'm mixing all of this stuff up now, the milk, two and two-thirds cup of milk, and uh, all of the good stuff, you know, the uh, sugar, nutmeg, and what have you. Right now, we've got the cook sisters who are going to come by and, and help you out right now. Hey. Uh, hey. Hey, yourself. <laughs> Sis. You going to munch some? I have a tip for you. Oh, okay. If you run out of cooling racks or you just can't find yours, you know what you can do is put a little cooling thing. Yeah, you put yeah, cake no, on no. cool well, off. Yeah. Well, what you can do is take cupcake things and turn them upside down and use them for cooling racks. Cupcake, uh, what do they call them? Uh, muffin, muffin pans. pans. Oh, I'm Tootsie Cook and I'm getting forgetful. A horrible <laughs> thing to waste. And I'm Sister Cook and we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook Sisters. sisters. Take the custard, pour it into, <laughs> take Just your custard to town. The pie that will never This makes end. enough almost for two when you got one this small, so I'm going to use the one also that we're baking currently oh, in the oven to use up the rest of that. But there it is, and it's quite lovely, and you'll take that and put it back in the oven, 
at 425 degrees for 15 minutes and you cut it back to 325 for 45 more minutes or until it's real real nice and done. Mine took a little bit longer than that because I wasn't using real milk, I was using 1%. And it has a tendency to be a little thinner and it takes a little bit longer. And well, Doris, come on in and show us your version of this lemon pie. The fun version, the fat version, the the one that everyone wants version of this thing. See, mine looks pretty much like Laban's. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does. But I used whole milk and uh, the regular pudding mix. And so um, <clears throat> I figured if it's going to be sinful, maybe we ought to get some cream or something to put on it and really, you know, make it sinful, right? I, I, hey, we can do Oh, great. I oh, and she's being terribly artistic. How about that? You know, I never did this oh, before. Oh, it looks just it like turns that you get at the cafeteria. Uh huh, it looks <laughs> just like a, a, a one that you buy. <laughs> I had never, tr never tried it with one of these things before. I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty neat. Well, that is but, just but wonderful. We can make, really make it sinful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very but, uh, good. But I figure uh, it, it's a very simple pie to make. I thought about making my own crust too, but I decided it wasn't worth it no. to, to, for this this kind of pie. And actually, but, uh, it's just as cheap it, to buy. Yeah, then. to make it. Uh, I don't know how you get them out of here, though. Well, here's how. You you have to carve the pie with a big knife. Well, see, it says put it in the freezer and, and keep it in there and, until ready to serve. Uh huh. But, uh, well, we took these out about a little while ago, but they will be frozen. So, are we eating? Do you eat them frozen, or are you yeah, supposed you to let eat them, them thaw frozen. a little no, bit? No, you eat them, eat it frozen. This, this one might be it's like ice a little cream. Bit, I got it out a little early, and then it's an hour to get here. There it goes. Well, he I left broke the, the crust. Oh, well, of course, I'm not. Let me give my recipe oh. while you're trying to get one of those out. Grandma Colette's egg pie, a cup of all purpose flour, quarter teaspoon of baking powder, four tablespoons of margarine, half teaspoon of salt, ice cold milk. That makes the crust. The custard, four eggs, two thirds cup of sugar, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of nutmeg, two and two thirds cup of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla. What do you got in and yours? And Mitzi's lemon cheese pie that Doris and I both did takes an eight ounce package of cream cheese softened, two cups of cold milk divided, one three and a quarter package of uh, ounce package of instant lemon pudding mix, a half teaspoon of grated lemon peel, and one graham cracker crust, nine inches. Here's what this looks like when it comes out. Isn't this pretty? This is an old timey looking pie mm -hmm. when it comes out of the oven. It's simply gorgeous. There it is. Lovely. It's lovely. Let's take it over to the table. One time <laughs> Maisie. And see if we can taste some of this stuff. All right. Give me your plate and I'll All right. get you some of this out, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow that just didn't seem to... Somehow I think that it, I don't have the proper tool. Oh well, it looks pretty anyway. Well, how you do you eat this if it's all frozen? This is like ice cream. Hmm. It's like eating a big old popsicle. <laughs> but it's good. Oh, but it hurts those teeth I'm having checked in the morning. Let me try Grandma Colette's pie. Mmm. And there's Doris's version. That is an old timey tasting recipe, it really is. And let me try Doris's here. Which isn't quite as frozen as yours. No, she didn't trust me. No, it's pretty good. I think they're all very mm -hmm. good. I really do. This one, uh, I don't. You probably, if you put this pie on a stick and ate it over a period of an hour, it'd be nice. During the summer months, around the pool, mm -hmm. but it's pretty good though. Really, the substitutions don't hurt it a bit. No. I'm proud of you, Mr. Johnson. You did a right good job. Well, both of these. What do you pies think of Aunt Colette's? I mean, Grandma's Colette's. It's so. just like egg custard pie my grandma used to make. Yeah, you know, egg custard is not my favorite pie in the world. I don't know why. I just I always preferred, you know, lemon and mm -hmm. chocolate and fruit pies, but it'll do. It'll be all right. My Aunt Alta was so good about making butterscotch pie. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Homemade butterscotch. There's nothing like it. And you know what? We've never done one of those mm -mm. on this show. We ought to do that sometime. A fine butter 
Scotch pipe. Some, well, is that somebody calling for us? There's been some I kind of alarm that's going off in the building. We don't know whether it's oh, something. Oh, maybe somebody wants to Is the crust ready pledge. to come out? I'll bet this. <laughs> <laughs> it's either a pledge or the crust is ready. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which. And sometimes it really doesn't make much difference around here. That's about it, I guess. Yes. It's pies. been a pie show. It's been a pie show. Bye. Pie, y'all. <laughs> Take care. Mm -hmm.